Yeah. All right. So let's move on to article number three. This is a joint effort between Harvard and MIT. And these researchers wanted to look at a big problem in the world, which is falling. Um, for those of you that don't know, falling is actually the leading cause of death in the elderly and the second um, leading cause of death for occupational hazards. So it's a big deal. Um, they wanted to look at how this could be prevented by adding something onto your shoe. So traditionally, crampons are a big, um, not alternative to wearing non-slip shoes, but like an a addition to it. And they wanted to create their own crampon, which was easier to put on and take off and ideally more effective. What's and a crampon? Is it just like something that you slip over your shoe provides more grip? Yeah. So like think, think of like hikers and how they put on like those hiking spikes Okay. Um, that not that extreme, but if you're going out and walking in the ice and whatnot, you can put like this rubber thing on your foot, on your shoe that has these little spikes on it to make sure that you're not falling everywhere. Okay. And That's a cramp. I, and the elderly, I imagine use this pretty widely. Yeah. Yeah. From, okay. from my understanding, they do, which makes okay. sense because if you're at risk, you want to make sure you have much, as much protection as possible. Okay. That makes sense. So the approach that they took with their design is actually kirigami. Dan, do you know what kirigami is? No, I don't. Okay. I know so, what origami is. There you go. Origami, you're folding paper to get a desired shape. Kirigami, you're cutting the paper to okay. get the desired shape. So they use kirigami on a piece of thin steel to come up with like a snakeskin pattern. Why snakes? Great question. So I don't know. I'm a little you... creeped out by snakes. So this <laughs> like, you know, but maybe like snakeskin boots. That's a, that's a thing. <laughs> kind of. Th these are not like the other snakeskin shoes or boots you've ever heard of. But the reason they chose snakeskin is because snakes actually use the scales on their body to climb up objects by having them kind of stick out and give them extra grip. In a similar fashion, in this application, whenever someone is walking, they've designed or they've engineered this product to deploy these little like snake skins on like perpendicular to the floor to give you as much grip as possible. That's okay. the idea. And they determined this by like looking at how people walk and trying to get like the right curvature of your foot before you're putting your foot down to make sure that these are like better performance or grippier than what's already on the market. Okay. So like snakes can make their scales go in and out when mm -hmm. they need more or less friction. Um, they say this is like a snake because they've got these spikes that can go in and out. Um, and I imagine they looked at, you know, they did a lot of gait and force analysis with walking to make sure that they go out at the right time. Yeah. 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 That, that's, that, that's the kind of analysis they did. They wanted to make okay, sure that cool. they were getting deployed when they expected it to basically to prevent the fall. Okay. So like if I was about to fall, the position that my foot would be in the gait that I was having these, uh, scales, so to speak would kind of be protruding out and give me more friction on the ground that I'm standing on. Right. Yeah. Cool. And apparently one of the bigger um, advantages of this, again, is that you can take him off and put him back on very easily in comparison to the others. Nice. Yeah. Um, does it like, how does it compare in terms of uh, friction performance? I know that that's, that's probably their key performance indicator is how much friction it can give um, to someone wearing these shoes when they're about to fall. On you know, different surfaces. There, there wasn't a ton of data on it exactly, but they did mention that um, this, this is a better product in comparison to what's already out there. And again, I think that's pretty much due to the fact that they've optimized when those spikes are deploying versus just having the spikes like in a static position on the bottom of your foot as, as you go directly up and down. I'm interested to see if they can commercialize this. I know it's probably not ideal to just have like a thin steel plate on the bottom of their shoes. So I imagine they'll like figure out how to coat it with rubber or something like that. So it's not more slippery when the spikes aren't deployed or it doesn't tear up your hardwood floor, but I'm really, really <laughs> interested. I personally am very, very interested in nature inspired engineering and nature inspired design. So it's cool to me that they did the snake skin. And Agreed. I know you like art, so it's probably pretty cool for you that they did Kirigami as well. And I love shoes for those of our, uh, Listeners that don't know, I was a huge sneakerhead back in high school, so this was a very fun article for us to cover.